yeah, what you see in the screen is what the story happened with me too. I mean, it's just not with you. I mean, this is something which happens with most of us. Meera, stop telling stories. I was told. To me, it was a calmness which had the turbulence of a rough sea and a tsunami of currents hitting my mind with questions. Sometimes I screamed in the silence. We do that, right? Like a bud in the blossoming stage. Sometimes I accepted all those sometimes and I ran from situation. Yeah, that was easy way out. And sometimes the same situation brought me back to the reality because I always closed my eyes. Uh, I always closed my ears when things were being shared because I didn't want to listen to, because I didn't want to accept those. The reality where I illustrated my illusions to happiness and said, why not create stories if that's my strength? And I realized, yes, it is a happiness. It is happiness in creating stories. And I went blogging my learning as a happiness for 100 straight days. And um, I was tagged by one of my friends on Facebook to uh, write about, to talk about, to post pictures about happiness every day for 100 straight days. It was called as 100 days happiness or 100 days blogging or something like that. And um, after one day, after the second day, I was like, what do I post about happiness? I got stuck. And on the 10th day, um, my appa was, yes, he was leaving this earth. How could I really go and talk about happiness when he was moving on? It was just I and him in the hospital room. And uh, a silence of 15 minutes. I was telling him that I'm writing a book and I look forward to publishing the same. There was a silence and he just looked at me. Uh, these were the last words where he might mention, bring it to reality, bring them to reality. After that pause, I didn't write for two, three days. In fact, for 10 days. And when I started again writing about my experiences, I just wrote 100 days of happiness learning. Tears definitely rolled down, but I, I felt that these are the emotions which were contained in the eyes and I just let it go out. And that's the time I realized when people say stop telling stories, it is not about they do not want to hear. It is about they want to hear what they want to hear. It is just not with them. It is with anyone. It could be between a manager and an employee and, or rather the team, me team member, I mean. So the team member wants to share, manager is not ready to listen, but the manager wants to share and the team member doesn't have a choice but to listen to the same or hear whatever is coming to his eyes. And years, I mean it. That's when I realized it's not about the stories. It's about how we gamify the stories that we share. Some stories are in the form of a quote. Some stories are just like an essay or like a no novel. And some stories are unsaid and some stories just need one word. It's for us to determine and to know when to uh, gamify the story based on the audience, based on the people we are with and based on our thoughts and the outcome. The stories that we are sharing, are they aligned with the brand? Are they aligned with the outcome? Are they aligned with our purpose and the value? Let me hit it over here. It is these stories which helped me in creating the purpose for my life. It is, it's all about transforming the words and emotions into stories that would create that emotional and mental well-being, helping people to create their brand, helping people in converting their ideas into a brand and helping them in setting up the ecosystem as a mentor or a coach or as an enabler. And this book, what you see, the cover design, is my first book, Maya Katha. People ask me, why do you want to say Maya? Many people were quite apprehensive about this word Maya because they said, why do you really want to live in the world of illusion? I was like, when stories can be gamified, when stories can be shared, why can't illusion? When I say that, I mean that, bring the illusion to reality. We are human so super powered in our mind and our thoughts that we have been putting a lot of illusion stories in our mind. Thinking and believing and questioning our worthiness and the confidence factor that whether I can, can I really take the step? Can I really go about starting the company that I want to? Can I really go about asking the investors and the fund, you know, people who can fund 
for the uh, for the idea that I have. Can I really build this idea into a brand and into an ecosystem? What kind of a stories are we creating? If these stories, if you think they are illusion and they are good to be an illusion, it's better to destroy them. I mean, bring those illusion to reality. And that's what Maya Kata, bringing those illusions into reality is my book all about. It is not for the grammar Nazis and it is not for those people who would be picking, uh, you know, false about why there's a capital in between a sen sentence, why they are not aligned. What I have shared is 100, 100 stories, 100 experiences that I blog for 100 straight days about my experiences, how I connect with happiness. Happiness, I mean, as you say, it is just not about those being motivated. I would call that as a false motivation. Happiness is about creating uh, what you want to create from the resources that you have and how you go about creating those brand and ecosystem. Happiness is just not about tagging somebody on the social media. It's not about just laughing and putting those uh, laughing emojis. Happiness is about understanding the challenges that we have around us. It could be, for example, you want to start a company on your own or you want to be that startup. The happiness is knowing that we have so many competitors in the market. It is to understand and to learn to see what is our niche. How simple can we be to put across our idea in converting them into leads? Yes. So happiness is just not about talking as an emotion, bringing the you know motivation factor. It is about accepting that things are not right sometimes around us too. It is about creating those stories, how you can create um, an ecosystem for yourself. When I say that, here I am to share. This is, these are the stories and this book helped me in being what I am today, a growth preneur and being shakunified with my thoughts, believing in the strategies and purpose, vision and whatnot. Yes, so many things that is helping me be what I am today. It also helped me in bringing that ecosystem uh, with the two communities today, which is close to 3,000 to 3,500 plus grown organically known as Maya Kata, where stories dance, a storytelling marketplace where stories and storytellers connect, trainers connect, writers connect. And another community known as Let's Make Stories Dino, where we roar through words, through anthologies, through events, through books. So it helped me, the stories and this book, Maya Kata and Illusion Holding Reality, helped me in being that storyteller who could connect the numbers and the facts with the experiences and the operations or the administration that we talk about. Stories are just not about once upon a time there was a king and ending it with a moral of the story. I know that's not happening much, but still, people still believe that stories are something like that. Stories are all about gamifying the process that you have currently. Stories are all about understanding the way we work and how we can gamify that and bring those return on investment and for the time that you invest in the form of monetary, in the form of experience and in the form of business. So this is a book that I wrote published in 2019, 2020. I would be sharing the link to the same. You wish to grab a copy of it. You can finish it in an hour. Yes, I mean it. You need not be um, someone who's a speed, who's, who's, whom you call it as a speed reader. A simple reading, grab a coffee, just like I have one, and flip the pages. There are 100 pages or, you know, with a little bit of the doodles, illustrations, and with any mini bits of stories and the happiness, how I connect in the form of learning. This book is published by Notion Press and uh, the doodle design is by Ms. Divya and the cover design, this illustrations of Lucio's colors, right? Splashed across uh, in a white background. It is by Mr. Matin. So you wish to grab a copy of this. I would love to know your thoughts. And after reading, you felt, Mira, no, this is something that doesn't sink in with me. Absolutely fine, because I respect this fact also that few stories will not connect with others. With this, I would like to say namaste and sayonara. Ta -ta. I look forward to hearing from you. And uh, let's create the stories that would help us in creating the ecosystem that we wish to.